Today we're going to go over uh, exception handling in Python. So when we talk about exception handling, we're talking about what's going to happen when an error pops up with either within the code or inputted by a user, uh, how the program is going to handle that without completely stopping the program. So for instance, if you put some you know erroneous piece uh, uh, erroneous algorithm in into the uh, the project area and you run the program uh it's going to throw up you know a whole bunch of red syntax down here in the console area telling you what exactly you did wrong or at least uh somewhat what you did wrong or the, the what, what error uh, occurred um so the the problem with that is stops the program completely what we're going to try to do today is to show you guys how to uh prevent that from happening or at least how to handle that internally so let's let's go ahead and 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 try out these structures that are actually called uh try and accept structures all right let's try and accept statements so let's start out with by you know doing an input error by the user uh inputted through the console through into the program so let's make a you know a relatively simple division program so let's say try X is equal to the input enter first number. And then let's say Y is equal to the input enter second number. And what we're going to do is we're going to have X divided by Y. So uh, we're going to store that uh, that quotient into a variable number. And we're going to, again, convert integer uh, the, the variables into integers. So we have to convert uh, X and Y into integers first and foremost from strings and then divide them. All right. And then we're going to print out the result, which is number. So I want you guys to think about what error could pop up. And the number one error I think of when I'm dividing numbers is dividing uh, a, you know, a numerator by a denominator that is zero and that would be a bad thing that throws a, a error um so it'll stop your program completely it'll say division by zero so what we what we can do to prevent that is by typing accept and then we can put in uh an error we can specify what that error might be. Uh, in this particular scenario, we're concerned about division by zero. It could say error divided by zero. Okay. And so let's run this program and see what happens. Say my first, the first number that I want to put in is 10. The second number, zero. That's division by zero. 10 divided by zero is. Uh, in undefined. So here it's divided by zero. If I didn't have this this, uh, this expression, it would pop up as an error and it would have all types of red syntax down here. So as a good practice uh, in, in Python, uh, we want to uh, specify what exactly um, happened in that that stopped the program or threw up an error so what we can do is uh we want want to say want to you know say exactly what happened why you know there are built-in functions in python that will, that will tell you what error happened so we can actually uh, erase this and say we want to store the error that that was thrown up in the variable we say error, and then um, and then we want to say 
um, there's a function called zero division error, right? And we're going to store that in air. So we can say, accept zero division error, store that error in the, in the variable air. And then we want to print, print out air. <coughs> so let's go ahead and, and try and try that. So let's say the number we want to divide by is 20 again by zero. And then this right here is what is thrown up in into Python. So the reason why we want to specify um, what stopped the program, what, what error is thrown up is that, you know, we don't want to just let things lie and the program stop and nobody knows why. And if this is a more complex, a way more complex and operational program, it would take forever to debug. So as just a matter of, of course and, and, and styling in Python, we don't want to, to just leave an accept um, function and just leave it like this and leave no way of knowing how or why, you know, an exception was, was tripped and the program didn't do what it was supposed to do. Uh, so we always want to, um, you know, we always want to leave, uh, you know, put, put down what exactly happened. And there are several different, um, you know, uh, functions in Python. You can look them up in on the python.org website. Uh, another one I could think of off the top of my head is like value error, right? And it'll store what the value error is into the 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 variable air, and then you can say print air. Um, so play around with these, look them up, uh, um, and I try out you know exception handling. We'll go into this a little bit more deeply. It might be integrated to your final project. Who knows? So. Uh, and that, I guess that will be it for this section.